24 Arabian Mao Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The Arabian Mao is a land race of cats. This means they evolved naturally over the years without much human intervention, resulting in a distinct and locally adapted breed. Number 2. Arabian Mao's are native to the Arabian Peninsula, and they're the predominant street cat in countries like Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. Number 3. The Arabian Mao's head is oval-shaped, with a slightly longer appearance than being perfectly round. What's more remarkable is that their paws are also consistently oval in shape. Number 4. Hailing from the arid deserts of the Middle East, Arabian Mao's know exactly how to beat the heat. They have short, thick fur that helps them stay cool in hot days and warm during cold nights. Number 5. Arabian Mao's also have no undercoat to help them live comfortably in the desert. This means they don't shed much and are less likely to cause allergies in people who are sensitive to cat fur. Number 6. Another feature that Arabian Mao's have developed by adapting to the desert heat is their unique ears. They are large, thin, and pointed so they can easily dissipate heat and help themselves cool down. Number 7. Despite their desert origins, Arabian Mao's can adapt to most climates. However, as you might expect, they do prefer warmer areas over colder regions, even within the household. Number 8. Most cats are crepuscular by nature, meaning they are more active during dawn and dusk. However, Arabian Mao's, due to their desert origins, tend to be more nocturnal than other breeds, hunting exclusively at night when the temperatures are cooler. Number 9. As a land race, Arabian Mao's have mysterious origins. Some people even suggest that these cats descended from the very first felines domesticated by the ancient Egyptians over 4,000 years ago. Number 10. Perhaps supporting the breed's Egyptian theory of origin, the Mao in the Arabian Mao's name translates to cat in Egyptian language. Number 11. The Mao's history in the Arabian Peninsula is said to date back to over a thousand years ago. They are said to have accompanied Arabian travelers and merchants on their caravans, assisting by hunting rats and other pests. Number 12. Despite being an ancient breed, Arabian Mao's were not recognized as an official cat breed until 2008. This was done by the World Cat Federation during the annual general meeting in Germany. Number 13. The World Cat Federation breed standard also mentions that an adult Arabian Mao's coat should not be too silky but firm instead. However, a silky coat is still allowed in young kittens. Number 14. Since Arabian Mao's are a land race of cats, there is an incredible variety in their looks and colors. These guys can come in all sorts of shades and patterns, although red, brown, black, and white with tabby markings seem to be the most common. Number 15. Today, the World Cat Federation's breed standard for Arabian Mao's acknowledges is five color variations white, black, black and white, brown, and gray and white. Additionally, an Arabian Mao can have any level of white on its coat. Number 16. Some sources wrongly cite that the Arabian Mao's eyes color does not correspond with the color of their coat. This is not true. In fact, the Mao's eye color always corresponds with their coat color, even according to the breed standard. Number 17. Arabian Mao's are medium-sized cats, with males weighing around 9 to 16 pounds, while females weighing between 8 and 14 pounds. Number 18. Petra Mueller, the director of the Middle East Cat Society, is often credited with naming the breed Arabian Mao. She reportedly encountered these cats during a trip to Dubai as a World Cat Federation official and later initiated a breeding program. Number 19. Since these felines are yet to gain recognition from major feline registries like the Cat Fanciers Association, Arabian Mao's are pretty rare cats. However, pet quality Mao's only cost around $500 to $800, which is relatively low in the world of rare cats. Number 20. Arabian Arabian Mao's, shaped by natural selection, exhibit a robust and resilient physical constitution. As a result, these guys do not have any breed-specific health conditions whatsoever. Number 21. Arabian Mao's are still susceptible to common feline conditions like obesity, dental issues, and joint problems, so you'll still have to schedule those regular vet visits. Number 22. Arabian Mao's hold a special cultural significance in the Middle East. They are seen as more than just cats. They symbolize qualities such as resilience and adaptability. This symbolism arises from their ability to not only survive but also thrive in the challenging and harsh environments of the Middle East, particularly in the arid desert regions. Number 23. Arabian Mao's are among the most vocal cats ever. Your Mao is likely going to keep talking to you and even scream until you respond, so make sure you don't leave them hanging without a response. Number 24. Historical records reveal that Arabian Mao's were valuable companions to sailors and traders in the Arabian Peninsula. They played a crucial role in controlling shipboard rodents during sea voyages, helping to maintain sanitary and pest-free conditions on board. Alright folks, which of these Arabian Mao facts did you find most interesting? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thanks for watching.